before I salute this video, let me get one subscribe to hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, thumbs up, hit the notification bell so you get constant updates. I try to release a video at least once, twice a week. Welcome to Nocturnal Thoughts in this building. And today's topic of discussion, of course, Anthony Joshua, Andy Rees. First of all, I don't believe in kicking a man when he's down. So I'm not going to come down hard on Anthony Joshua. But this is what I mean when you say somebody is being exposed. You know what I'm saying? You no know, disrespect. But this is what I mean when somebody is being exposed. Tyson Fury versus Deontay Wilder was not an exposure. Tyson Fury did not expose anything that we did not know about Deontay Wilder. He's wild. He definitely, look, most people think he's a one-trick pony, but he is definitely not a one-trick pony. But he does rely on his right hand, you know, and he got to a point where he was, you know, like he said, he had a lot of pressure on his back and he tried to do what he had to do to get that knockout in front of his audience. It was off his square a little bit. At the end of the day, whether you want to say he got outboxed, it makes no difference to me. Tyson Fury got off the mat, got off the got, got off the canvas two times in that fight. And the second time he, he got up, you can't you can dispute the count all you want to. It don't matter. The man was knocked out cold. So it makes no difference to me how, how, how anybody would look back into the rear view mirror and still try to act like Deontay Wilder was exposed by Tyson Fury. This is, this is what I mean by exposed. When you get uh, Andy Ruiz dropping Anthony Joshua three or four times in one fight. When you see uh, Anthony Joshua with, with no more fuel in his tank when, he, when he's looking like a, when he's looking like uh, uh, he's a fish out of water, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, I ain't gonna disrespect y'all boy Anthony Joshua, because at the end of the day, I never had, I don't have anything personally against Anthony Joshua. You know, I just, I think he was a more of what my generation called. Look at this dude. Look at this dude, man. Bruce, say what's up to the people. Say what's up to the people. Say what's up. Anthony Joshua to me was a paper champion. And that's that's just how I saw his career. His career, because you know, people want to act like Deontay Wilder is cherry picking. Anthony Joshua was a paper champion. I don't know who, who ever seen Rocky, what was it, Rocky part uh, five? Either Rocky four, Rocky five with Tommy Guns. When, when Rocky went over there to uh, Russia, Fought the, uh, fought, uh, what's his name? Ivan Drago. And then he comes back to America, loses all of his money. The fake Don King was like, look, all you gotta do is fight our champion to, 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 uh, get your belts back and get your money back. The champion that they had on the pedestal for Rocky to fight was, was everything a champion should look like. Tall, young, brolic, cut up to pieces, all muscle. But he was a paper champion. Even Tommy Guns under the uh, tutelage of Rocky went in there and took that man out in like four rounds. Just because somebody looks like, you know, they're uh, supposed to be a heavyweight champion, you know, it doesn't mean that they have the entire package, you know, mentally or physically or whatever the case may be. You know, he was Anthony Joshua. Not, some people say he's a bodybuilder. I don't. I don't go that far and say he's a bodybuilder. I just think he was a little too overly muscle. You know what I'm saying? You you cannot have the proper stamina for a 12 round fight. You can't have the proper conditioning when you're that muscle bound. Like Andy Ruiz was a chubby guy, a fat guy. Even even though he's more used to carrying around that weight, there's not a big difference from your heart and your condition from holding on to a bunch of muscle versus holding on to a bunch of fat. Your heart does not care the difference. You know, Deontay Wilder is lean. And 223 is not a lot of weight, people. At six foot seven, 
six foot seven, 223 pounds is not a lot of weight, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm 5'9", five 5'10", five uh, usually walking around 200, 205 pounds. Deontay Wilder's fight with Tyson Fury, he said he, his final weigh-in was 209 pounds. It's like four pounds heavier than myself. That man has a gas tank. That's why he can knock somebody out in the 12th round. To be honest with you, if y'all really want to be honest, if this was old school boxing and Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder went 13, 14, 15 rounds, Tyson Fury would have been done. But that's neither here nor is it there. The topic of discussion is honestly all of the Anthony Joshua fanboys. The fanboys. That's what I'm really addressing more than anything. Because like I said, I never had anything personally against Anthony Joshua. He, you know, no sweat off of my back what his career did. But all of the fans, they remind me, they reminded me of Conor McGregor fans. Which I can salute that to a certain extent when you ride or die with your boy no matter what. I gotta salute that to a certain extent. A certain extent, when you can ride with your boy, win, lose, or draw, whether he's the best, whether he's just talking, whatever the case may be, I like the support from the UK fans, but I don't like when they go delusional. They go, de once you become too much of a fan, boy, you go delusional. When you start treating your man as an idol. You start treating your man like he's a god. Like Anthony Joshua, in their minds, in their hearts, was up on God's status. And I just can't rock with that. I can't, I can't appreciate anybody that can put anybody on the pedestal that high in their life and then put them on some kind of a God status. Everybody is a man. Anthony Joshua, Tyson Fury, Deontay Wilder, Luis Ortiz, you know, any boxer you can imagine, any, 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 any champion you can imagine, any athlete you can imagine, any man, any entertainer. Stop idolizing these people. Stop putting these people up on these pedestals and becoming fanboys. Any man on on this grass on this on this grass that stands up on this grass puts their shoes and their pants on the same way, one leg at a time. They 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 shit stink. They ain't perfect. They human beings. They flawed. I don't care how much muscle you got. I don't care how much fame you got. I don't care how much money you got. You a human being. You flawed and you and you can be you can be you know what I'm saying. You can be beat, you can be down, you can have your down days, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna be honest, I don't think that Anthony Joshua career will totally ever recover from this, honestly. I think he reached his epitome with Klitschko. That Klitschko was his, was his epitome, was his zenith. It was, it was, the top of his mountain was Klitschko and a 41. I know I got sleep in my eyes. I'm just waking up, people. A 41-year-old Klitschko was Anthony Joshua's top, top level that he's ever going to be able to perform at. Period. Period. He, he don't. He has a. He has a. He has a questionable chin. Now the question is answered, in my opinion. He does not have the chin. For one, he doesn't have the chin, and for two, he doesn't have the stam the stamina. And for three, you cannot really fix those three things. They are what they are. You know what I'm saying? Now that, now that your chin has been broken, because you know when you go from glass chin to broken chin, you don't recover from that. Especially not in the heavyweight department. Luis Ortiz is gonna break that jaw open. Deontay Wilder is gonna break that jaw open. Anthony Joshua from this point on is gonna be fighting lower level opponents. He's not gonna to get to the top. The only way he gets to the top is if the top gets chopped off. If the top gets chopped off, say for example, if Luis Ortiz drops uh, Deontay Wilder and then um, Tyson Fury outboxes Luis Ortiz, then if Anthony Joshua fought Tyson Fury, let me let me replay that. If, if Luis Ortiz dethroned Deontay Wilder and then he fought Tyson Fury and T Tyson Fury out outboxed Luis Ortiz then I think Anthony Joshua might have a shot at beating Tyson Fury a shot he, st he still could get outboxed Andy Ruiz 
he should hold on just like uh charlo said to harrison enjoy your belts while they last because or uh because andy ruiz no disrespect but i don't think he's going to hold on to those belts very very long to be honest with you he's a great fighter i don't know a whole lot about him i watched his fight with um the guy that him and anthony joshua fought i forget his name right off the top of the dome but you know i think a king kong ortiz is going to take uh andy ruiz out oh viva la mexico viva la mexico you know what i'm saying say la vie I, I feel like it is what it is i feel like andy, andy ruiz is going to hold down mexican pride like a champ salute to andy ruiz man i forgot to sh salute to andy ruiz salute to all the the, the uh, mexicans that supported him i'm glad y'all got that belt you know what I'm saying? I hope y'all going to be better fans than Anthony Josh Joshua fans were. To the point where you're not going to be so super delusional about your champion and just have pride in him, have confidence in him, and have support in him. But remember, he's a man. You know what I'm saying? Remember, he's a human being. He's not perfect. You know, celebrate him. Give him his give him his due diligence, his credit, where his credit is deserved. And then expect him to pass that torch just like an Olympic torch runner. He's going to pass that torch. They're going to line up. You know, he's he's going to be chum to the Sharks right now. They're going to line up to to, to be trying to fight Andy Ruiz. You know what I'm saying? Um, I want to see who how they're going to try to navigate his career. I want to see what Eddie Hearns going to do. Because uh, Eddie Hearns, to me, is a shyster. I know you guys love him for some whatever reason. But to me, he's just a, a professional con man, salesman, sweet talker. You know, uh, behind the door. Uh... I ain't gonna go there. That's low blow. No, no low blows on Eddie Hearn. I don't know the man personally, you know. But just based off of what I see, judging a book by a cover, you know, I don't. I would. Uh, he's just not my cup of tea. Not my cup of tea. But I want to see if he try to jump on the the Andy Ruiz train. See how that whole thing plays out. See if they try to protect his career. If they try to protect his career, or if they go ahead and just feed him to the to the wolves or throw him to the sharks. Um, cause I know how all these fans are going to be asking for him to fight, you know, defend his belt like this. They might even ask for a rematch in the UK. That's what I look at. Let's get a rematch in, in the UK. Let's take it to my home. Let's take it to my backyard where I'm comfortable. You know, um, I was training for Big Baby Miller and, uh, I was enjoying the Miami life and I wasn't as focused as I was supposed to be because I'm human. I'm not a god. You see what I'm saying? Let's see how that plays out. Because, you know, honestly, I, excuses are like assholes. Everybody has one. Nobody wants to hear it. Um, I don't want to hear all the excuses. You know what I'm saying? I felt like you should be prepared for your fight with Big Baby Miller. You should, be, you should have been prepared with your fight for Andy Ruiz. There's no excuses. Uh, you shouldn't even be asking. You shouldn't be, you shouldn't be putting yourself in a position where you want a rematch in your backyard. If you want to run it back, let's run it back the same way we just ran it this time. You know what I'm saying? You stay over here kicking it, and I stay over here eating my burritos and my Snickers, and, and then we meet back up ASAP, if that's how you want to do it. But I feel like, you know, I feel like the uh, same thing, like, you know, with Sugar Ray Leonard versus, um, what's his name that said, you know, no mas. You know, they didn't let that man enjoy his belt. He won the heavyweight, he won his belt. Well, I guess welterweight or whatever he won that and then they want to try to hurry up and do a rematch after he gained some weight and get over here after he gained some weight and he wasn't ready to uh, defend his championship I think that's a low blow let the man enjoy his championship let him go sit back celebrate kick it spend some money relax and then let him draw up his own drawing board to defend, to de defend his belt against whoever he chooses to defend his belt against you know what I'm saying? Or if there's a rematch clause and he has to fight uh, Anthony Joshua again, let him at least have enough of an uh, advantage where he can choose when and where they fight. Not to not, not to try to drag him out to the UK for him to fight um, where he's uncomfortable. He, he, he earned his belt, let him make some decisions in his career. Uh, so anyways, man, I'm not gonna hold y'all too long. This video is stretching out to 15 minutes, you know, like, like Nate Diaz said, I'm not surprised. I didn't expect for it to go down the way it went down, but I knew it was gonna be a matter of time, a matter of opponent, if Anthony Joshua would have fought the wrong person at the wrong time, it was gonna happen. 
because I was never was too impressed by what he was bringing to the table. You know what I'm saying? Muscle bound don't 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 impress me to the extent where I'm thinking this dude is insurmountable. He's undefeatable. It's just it just it don't work that way. You know what I'm saying? So anybody that was thinking that because Anthony Joshua had this big thick neck mean that he had a chin. He showed that to me he showed that he didn't have a chin multiple times. And people want to criticize Deontay Wilder. Deontay Wilder has shown to me that he does have a chin. He has gotten caught and rocked and wobbled, but he has a chin. When he comes back, like if you look at Luis Ortiz, Luis Ortiz caught him so clean. And Deontay Wilder buckled to where you think he was going down, but he's just a lanky guy. So when he gets hit clean, he, he his body does a certain uh, way to rebalance itself. But he has shown that he has a chin, not that he can't get knocked out himself, especially about to fight a monster like, you know what I'm saying, King Kong Ortiz. So we'll see what's going to happen. I'm, I'm glad the heavyweight is, division is getting shook up. I'm glad Anthony Joshua got dethroned because that whole Anthony Joshua versus Deontay Wilder debate was getting a little bit old, people, because I don't understand how y'all just figured that this was just a fight of all fights. It's, I just, I feel like it's, first of all, it's a little bit, it's a tad bit racist because you got two black guys that you just think they're gonna create some dynamite fight like y'all don't remember Tyson Fury versus Holyfield being a dud fight. You know what I'm saying? Both times. Just like um, y'all keep talking about this uh, Terrence Crawford versus uh, Spence. Why do y'all think that's gonna be a great, great fight? It might be a good fight. I would like to see it. I would have liked to see Anthony Joshua versus Deontay Wilder, but I don't have to see it. That fight could have been a major dud. It could have been a major bomb well nobody did nothing just stop looking at people and just say oh this guy's black this guy's black this guy got muscles this guy got muscles they both knocking people out it's going to be a great fight that don't mean that's not the case all the time the great fights is styles they styles make fights you know what i'm saying not not personas not reputations not 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 um whatever you know with the way you sell a fight with, with, with the animations and all the antics and the talking and, and all that, that does not make a great fight. You know what I'm saying? So maybe we will see Anthony Joshua versus Deontay Wilder. Maybe that's down the line sometime, but I don't think you're gonna be hearing people call for it as much anymore, especially from the Anthony Joshua fans. I'm sorry, people. You know, maybe some Deontay Wilder fans will still be trying to see that fight yeah, no, I'm saying. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. We will see. But I doubt you're going to be hearing all the, the Anthony Joshua fans. Y'all finna, finna go quiet for a while. Y'all finna go stealth for a while. I think y'all finna, you know, even the ones that's going to brave a few excuses, that's just going to get burnt and torched, I wouldn't recommend it. I recommend that y'all guys just kind of go and lick y'all wounds. You know what I'm saying? Go lick your wounds and and, and, and go somewhere and, and chill out and be cool. That's what I that's what I recommend for all the Anthony Joshua fans. Don't come on here talking with a bunch of excuses and a bunch of, you know what I'm saying, retaliations and refutes. You know what I'm saying? Just just take your loss like a champion. Go lick your wounds and we'll see what happens in the future. I just don't see him climbing back up to the top like that. Because to me, he was kind of a paper champion. It is what it is. Congratulations to Ruiz. Uh, may Anthony Joshua, you know, do what he has to do to, to rebound himself mentally. He said he never wanted to be a, a boxer at the end of the day. He said he wanted to go off and to do, do other things. Maybe he'll go off and do other things. We shall see. But I think Deontay Wilder is still going to be the top. I want to see what he does with Ortiz. Tyson Fury rematch. And he could retire on top straight like that. And they can always do... Deontay Wilder versus Andy Breeze and see how that flows and flows out. But I'm not gonna be sitting there one of those guys that's just saying, oh, Deontay Wilder has to fight Andy Breeze now. That makes no sense. Nobody was saying that before. It wasn't on the radar before. Why is it on the radar now? Because he took y'all boy out. Get out of here with that mess. This is Nocturnal Thoughts, man. I appreciate y'all time. I'm out. Peace.